Submarine volcanoes, as the name suggests, lie under the sea. When active, particularly in relatively shallow water, they make their presence known by blasting steam and hurling debris high above the surface. Others are so deep that the enormous pressure and weight of the water overhead means that even the mightiest eruption causes barely a ripple. However, this was hardly the case when a submarine volcano erupted off Iceland in November 1963. As the crew of a fishing boat were working about 20 miles from the coast of Iceland in the North Atlantic, they were astonished to see a huge column of dark smoke and ash bursting from the sea. It was the latest in a series of volcanic eruptions which had begun 426 feet below the surface a short time earlier. Ten days later, the outline of a new island began to take shape. The eruptions continued intermittently for almost four years until June 1967, when the island, made up of volcanic rock, was a mile wide and up to 300 feet high. Since then, the volcanic island, named Sertse, has remained peaceful, eventually attracting plant life, seabirds and seals. But as Iceland is already home to some of the world's most active and unpredictable volcanoes, no one can be sure how long this apparent tranquility will last. Down through time, the people who live on Iceland itself and the surrounding smaller islands have become used to living with danger but they can still get taken by surprise. <laughs>